I never missed a day of training. Not a single day. I didn't sit and say I'm too depressed. I'm too sad. It's too cold in this freezing cell. I didn't eat enough because it's Ramadan. No excuses. Every single day we trained. We woke up disappointed. We swallowed the disappointment and we got to training every single day. If we could train in a freezing cold jail cell in Romania with cockroaches all around us with no idea when we're going to be allowed freedom once again, you can train in a nice gym. You can win with hard work alone. That's what's amazing about the universe when I say that. God will give you anything you truly want. If you truly want money and you truly try hard, you are going to have as much money as you could possibly ever desire. But if you think you want money but you kind of want something else or if you're arrogant or if you're lazy, you're going to end up somewhere in the middle if you're lucky and talented. And if you're not talented, you're never going to fall. How can you struggle with motivation in the modern world? Are you asking to just lose? Are you asking to just be erased from humanity? You are born to lose if you don't have motivation at 18. All those girls, those 18 year old girls you go to school with are talking to some 28 year old man with a yacht somehow. And you're sitting there lonely and you don't have motivation? This is the thing. We go to God when we have problems. But when everything's going good, we don't thank him enough. And that's one thing I try and make sure I never do. I don't pray to God to ask for things. I pray to God to say thank you for things I already have. It's to show gratefulness to him. By extension, I show gratefulness to my life. This is actually a mudra for power. My father Father used to sit and play chess like this. This is how he played chess. I stole it when I would be losing chess games and chess tournaments. When I was a kid, I was like, shit, I'm losing. I need power. Shit, let me do like dad. Uh. <laughs> Andrew, there was this road rage fight. What would you have done? Andrew, there was this fight in the airplane. What would you have done? Andrew, there was this fight in the subway. What would you have done? Andrew, look at this guy got shot in downtown. What would you have done? I would have got rich. I needed money, and I used to sit there and just literally my hands on my head and people were like, what's wrong with you? I was like, I, I, I need money. I want money today. I would have been one of them cats that robbed a bank. If I didn't find money, by the time I was 40, I would have walked into a fucking shop. I am not gonna live broke, get rich, or die trying. I understand that completely. But you motherfuckers are sitting there going, oh, well, yeah, I really want to be a millionaire. And then just, oh, just go to sleep. Oh, I'm a little tired. When is the last time you actually did your best? Like, I don't train to run marathons, but I know if I gave my best, I could run a marathon right now, first try. If I gave my best, life depending on it. They can't remember the last time they tried. Work, 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 no results, but I'm a little bit better. Work, 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 no results, but I'm a little bit better. Work, 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 work. boom, I just got paid. <laughs> and it looks like overnight success. Yeah, yeah. How to get rich. Do two things. You should develop a phone addiction, but you should refuse to consume content and only create content. Doesn't matter if it's just tweets, doesn't matter if it's TikToks, doesn't matter if it's YouTube videos. Produce, 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 produce. If you spend all those waking hours producing, eventually people will pay attention to you. And we live in an attention economy. So if you develop a phone addiction and you refuse to consume and you only create, you'll start to attract attention. And when you can do that, there's usually lots of different ways to monetize it. I'm telling you now, I have zero sympathy for most of you guys because the lives you live are the lives you have built for yourselves. You're nothing but lucky. Bacteria could have stole your eyesight at the age of three, and it didn't. You could have been in a car crash and lost both your parents. Never happened. You've been nothing but lucky. Blind luck has given you a favorable hand, and you've managed to fuck it up. They wanted me to be fat and sad. I don't want to be a fucking dork. I don't want to be those things. I don't want to be like the people you're telling me I should be like. I want to be a superhero. I want to drive Bugattis and Lamborghinis and be big and strong and be able to fight and have a bunch of money and a private jet and y'all. I want to be Batman. When you start seeing a car that's the price of a house and then you start seeing people with 30 of them, that's got to wake you up. Let's imagine you're earning 100 grand a year. You're successful inside of the Matrix. You're a successful slave. Let's imagine you can live for free, eat for free, you walk to work, never buy clothes. Let's imagine you save 100% of your money. I don't want to do the math off the top of my head, but my baguette was 5.2. That's a lifetime of slave work without spending a penny ever once to buy the time you're a fucking geriatric and can't function, you might be able to buy one of my 30 cars. If that does not tell you the matrix must be cracked and there's other ways to make money, then nothing fucking. At 24, I couldn't pay the rent. At 28, I was a millionaire, and at 32, I bought a Bugatti. That's how quickly you can get rich with a plan. If you don't have a plan, all you have is a dream. If your plan to get rich is longer than three years, it's a dream. It's a fantasy. It's a hope. If you're going to sit around and pray for a miracle, it's never going to happen. People think you buy a Lamborghini and you impress girls. This isn't true. When you buy a Lamborghini, you impress 10-year-old boys. When you drive past girls, they, they try and not look. They're trying like...
or they look up corner of their eye. Girls don't care about cars. They care about you having the ability to be smart enough to be able to buy the car. But they don't actually care about the car itself. And they care about ambition. All these things are linked to having a fast car. But fast car, right. ambitious, you're important. They care about this, they don't care about the car. You know we're the only influencers on the planet who don't have to dance around like children or make stupid jokes or pretend to be gay when we're not or do dumb shit and put on a costume or do something else for fucking views. We don't have to act like clowns. We talk. We're not clowns. We just tell the truth. Every other influencer to some degree is a clown or they don't get any attention at all. We can just sit here and tell the truth. I'd be the most Googled men on the planet, the most respected people on the planet, pulling 300,000 people to watch us live by telling the truth and improving people's lives. That's why they're scared of us because we're not clowns. The second we put on a Pokemon suit and act like jackasses, they'll Stop putting us in fucking jail. Are you transphobic? Do you, do you consider yourself that? Transphobic? What? Afraid?